Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. In this video, we are going to discuss about a fantastic AI tool. So here, this tool will be very helpful to draw, draw uh, different types of graphs, different types of charts, or different types of representations of your data in your research paper. Thereby, your research paper become more attractive. There are uh, handmade templates available. Just you have to go on and enter and change the data. Thereby, you will be getting a best templates out of it. So that is the best pictures out of it. Especially for preparing charts and graphs, this will be a fantastic tool for you to make your research article very attractive. So let us go on to today's video and explore this tool is all about. So before that, an important announcement from our channel is that we are going to conduct online workshop on efficient conference and journal paper writing with chat gpt and ae toolbox so this is a fantastic workshop related with how to make an uh, that is uh, conference and journal paper using ae toolbox and chat gpt so the important topics to be covered in this workshop is how to choose a proper title how to make proper introduction how to make perfect literature survey how to get get proper explanation from a table data and how to avoid plagiarism and ae direction also how to make catchy abstract and conclusion so how to get technical details of proper writing so these are the important things we are going to concentrate and discover it with all ae tools and chat gpt prompts and also we are going to explore different types of chat gpt prompts that will be very very useful for our research article preparation so don't forget to register our online workshop on efficient conference and journal paper writing with ae toolbox see you on our workshop the link of this registration will be given in the description of this video so check it out so going on to today's video so today's video the a tool what we are going to discuss today is that flourish data visualization and storytelling so just click on that it will ask for a sign up you can give your gmail id to sign up for your for sign up for this flourish so after that you will be getting a dashboard like this here so click on get started now so here you can see so this is the dashboard you will be getting so as i have already logged in so here create new visualization so these are the different types of uh, visualization you will be available so you can see here <coughs> line bar pie charts basic type of chart single or in grid mode so for premium you will be having this types of charts so next favorites so these are the different options so first we will explore and choose a template i am going to again i am going to click new, create new visualization for example say we are going to prepare a bar chart i am going to click this option so it will take several seconds to load as it is loaded after that you will be uh, seeing the option called population uh, 2021 so it represents different countries so what are the population so and also you will be having the uh, while clicking that you will be having this population to, to, to 2021 so that is the range of the population that is around uh, 140 crores like that next united states next indonesia pakistan so like that you will be getting different types of option so how to edit this data and make uh, it available for yourself so here you can see data so here you can see this is the data already they have entered so here uh, you just you can change the data for example i am going to give it as a so like that uh, random number i am going to give now i'm going to click on preview so here you can see automatically india has come down so on united states has gone up so like that you can edit this graph very easily and also you will be having this the chart type so this is a, a chart uh, different types of chart categories so here you can see line chart area chart column chart bar chart so so if you click it as a column chart it will be like that so if it has a bar chart group it will be like that so like that you can change the view of this chart very easily using this different option and you can edit the x-axis y-axis plot black ground and you can click on legend and you can uh, do whatever you want you can edit whatever you want in this graph so this is the important options available so you can click on that and you can preview so and you can see this using this uh, 
so that is a full in a full window also you can see so like that you can whatever you want you can edit using this graph so you can enter the technical data here in your research paper and you can convert into a better uh, charts and graphs using this option so especially this type of charts is often used uh, uh, in uh, representing any that is a, uh, in mostly all of the papers uh, so this kind of chart will be available that is a graphical representation of two data for say example say it is a voltage and power or voltage and current so you can edit whatever you want by just changing the data alone so just change the data in this sheet and you will and you will get a better uh, chart for your research paper so you can go on and explore and make use of this option to make better chart so next option is that so these and all are this uh, are related with only charts so you can see these are a bar chart column chart and line chart so you can also have multi series grid so for in uh, in order to compare different parameters so you can make use of this multi <coughs> multi series chart also so next one is pie chart so this is commonly used chart next to population pyramid so here you can click here so you will be having this kind of pyramid so you can uh, compare uh, for example if you are making a comparison of two methods instead of women and men you can uh, give that methods name and you can compare that both so like that you can do so next one is steam steam graph waterfall chart so like that these are the different uh, chart available uh, that is graphical representation of any data is available uh, in this flourish so next one is projection maps so here you can see if you want to pinpoint any particular area for example say i am going to click india <coughs> so here you can see <coughs> for example <coughs> there are different uh, categories are available so i am going to choose so here uh, section wide it, it is uh, that is separated so for example i am going to click thiruvallur so here you can see the data for that particular that is code for that particular so you can edit this also so if you are need to any represent any uh, geographical location of a particular uh, that is a particular uh, geographical location and uh, you have to analyze the what is happened in that particular geographical location alone for example your uh, people who are uh, dealing with any population uh, like that research that is uh, analysis of population so analysis of particular areas so you can make use of this uh, types of graphs so next one is that scatter <coughs> this is also the important types of graphs which can be useful for our research articles so here you can see there are different types of plots available so basic scatter plot box plot so hand scrolling chart line chart so this will be very useful for us so line chart so this is also often being used this type of chart is often being used in our research papers so you can go on click on and you can edit data whatever you want so and you can use this in your research paper also and also you can see 3d map <coughs> you can click on uh, the 3d maps for example say i am going to click on this heat map so here the heat uh, in that particular area will be located using this kind of map so here you can see this is an example related with north america so here number of wind turbines so how much number of wind turbines i am going to click data so here you can insert any regions you want or uh, points you want or lines you want so here you can say <coughs> for that particular latitude and longitude so number of wind turbines like that in lines you can represent whatever the lines you want and also you can uh, insert any map regions also so these are the different types of options available in this chart 3d maps so here you, you can zoom out zoom it so and also you can represent like that so for example if you are making an analysis uh, related with uh, how how much solar panel installation throughout india or any country so you can make use of this kind of chart to represent where the areas the solar panels is installed uh, mainly so next uh, important thing is that bar chart trace so this is the different types of bar charts so you can represent with it with uh, any symbols for example if you are uh, that is the running chart so he here you can see you can for presentation you can use this kind of chart for example say you, you are going to compare three different methods for example uh, 
sorry five different methods and then you are making a timeline analysis that is for five seconds how that methods are changing so for that you have to make use of this chart to present that particular data especially for presentation it will be very useful how the curve tracks the particular point for example during MPPT algorithm so how that five different types of uh, MPPT algorithm track the maximum power point using this kind of um, uh, chart so the this will be very useful so you can click on and you can edit data using this kind of <coughs> options so and also you can see this is a hierarchy bars so in order to re represent any classification in your research paper so you can use this kind of chart so for example there are different methods are available means you can use this kind of chart so here you can click uh, for example this is a method name this is the subheading means you can click like that and also you can see different types of hierarchical charts are available so here you can see uh, it is represented as a pie chart so here you can center for example say if you want to represent all the different types of MPPT algorithm means in this middle you can select uh, what is the MPPT like that so here you can mention any algorithm here you can mention any algorithm so like that you can mention any algorithm so you have to go on data so and you have to click and edit the data so for example say so for instead of upper middle I am going to give in China for example PSO optimization so like that I am going to give so here I am going to give bio inspired technique so like that I am going to give so bio inspired technique PSO optimization let us see how it will change there so here you can see that is PSO optimization bio inspired technique like that is changed so you can edit slowly whatever you want so thereby you will get a perfect uh, uh, that is hierarchy definition of that particular uh, uh, technique you are using next you can see also tree map so here click on the tree map so you will be having you can make a different tree map analysis for you for your uh, research methodologies and also you can see there are different types of you can see cards and card diagram connect uh, connection gro globe so countdowns so if you want to represent in uh, how much time it will be completed so you can make a countdown or how much time it will start you can make a countdown so these are the basic things uh, <coughs> draw the line chart Gantt chart so gauge heat map line chart trace uh, network graph so here you can see network graph will be very very useful to represent for example say if you are representing an artificial neural network methodology so you can use this kind of uh, this kind of graphs to represent your neural network so how it is connected with each other so or if you want to represent the how interlinking happened so you can use this kind of chart next one is pictogram radar chart so next is slope chart survey sports race table timeline so timeline is very important so you can use this timeline but it is for it is not for free so you have to go for subscription option so next one is parliament chart so next is sports uh, election result charts quiz so like that different types of uh, templates are available so as far as uh, how this flourish can be used for uh, research article preparation is that so you can use this kind of lines and chart uh, in your research article so thereby uh, inbuilt templates are available just you have to copy and paste your data instead of using an word or excel to create charts you can use this kind of tools to create charts and also you can change the different types of colors which is not available in your excel or word so here you can customize whatever you want so as inbuilt templates are already available so you can choose which one is best and you can use it for your uh, that is your chart preparation in your research paper hope this video will bring an hour about this flourish AI so you have to go on and explore and you can to you, you can play with this flourish AI to create different charts for your research paper hope this video will be very helpful for you thank you for watching our videos have a nice day thank you